How is the ripple of the GPP4323? Less than 150 microvolts. That's pretty good by my standards. If you want the details, stay tuned. So I've got channel one set up to sync, or set up to source. Uh, channel two set up to sync uh, about 50 watts, 15 volts, three amps, give or take. Uh, and then I'll be watching that on the scope. So right now the scope is AC coupled and the power supply is off. So let me turn on the power supply. See, does the noise increase? Nope. Power supply's on. Noise hasn't really increased. Now let me turn on the load. Does turning on the load increase the noise? Eh, not really. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. So really the, the ripple coming out of the power supply is, is well below the noise floor that we're seeing here. Uh, but now that we've got the, uh, the tools up, uh, we might as well chase this down one layer further. So the noise floor that you were seeing uh, really um, isn't so much due to anything intrinsic to the power supply, it's, it's more about the connections. So if we take, uh, take FFT here, you can see that uh, really the, the noise is a kind of 100 megahertz uh, FM radio style noise. And that's coming from this. It's picking up radio. So in order to get a measurement, a uh, better measurement, what we can do is filter that out. Let's do an aggressive filter here, uh, filter down to one megahertz. Uh, 16 bits, that's probably not quite true, a little bit marketing there, but uh, we've, we've got a good legitimate at least 12 bits there. And uh, so what, what we're looking at is, is uh, by filtering down, we're looking at what the what this power supply is actually responsible for, and then we're getting um, uh, and then we're getting statistics on that because it's, it was flying around a little bit. Okay, so the background. Let me see. We've got the supply on. Let's yeah, let's get the supply off. Reset. Oh, we probably want to wait for it to stabilize. Reset. Okay, we're uh, we're getting 70 microvolts of noise with the power supply off. Let's turn it on. No load. Reset. Still getting about 70 microvolts of noise. Cool. Now let's turn on the load and see if that increases the noise. Turn on the load and now we're getting 126 microvolts of noise. Yeah, that's that's great by my standards. Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't really expect more and that, that noise that we were seeing earlier um, is, is really what I would be more concerned about uh, if I wanted to chase this even further still, right? Because the moment you go to, uh, to banana jacks instead of uh, coaxial shielded, uh, you, you start to get FM radio just crawling everywhere. And so chasing, chasing out that last little bit of noise, um, uh, I, would, uh, I would start worrying about input, uh, input filtering of, of the RF rejection kind rather than of the, uh, the source stabilization kind. If, uh, if I were to take this one step further in stabilizing the supply. But yeah, as, as far as I'm concerned, this is, this is pretty much as, as good as I would expect it to get on Unshielded Banana Jacks. Uh, great, good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.